All right, in the last video, I used this MG um, picture, image, to show you how to use the paintbrush tool. Well, look, the pencil tool is pretty darn similar. This one here, it gives you hard edges as opposed to some smoother edges that you would have with the paintbrush tool, so like a pencil would do. So the edges are smoother. Now I'll pick a different color just for fun. Oh, red's probably not good since I have a whole bunch of red there. Unless, well, no, we won't get into that. I was going to say unless I wanted to change a color somewhere. I'll make it yellow and I'll paint parts of the car. I'll uh, mark it up a little bit. Now, right now, remember that uh, paint. Oh, a while ago, I used the paintbrush tool and I brought my size up the brush stroke to a, an extremely large size. So I'm going to reduce it. Notice I have the two arrows here. It's not going down very quick. I'm going to come back onto it. Position myself a little different now. I get that single arrow and it's easier to work with. So what I'm going to do if I want to paint the car, and look, I have the paint, the, the uh, pencil tool on, I have the brush here, so I could still use same brushes, but they'll be harder edges. And uh, I won't worry about this stuff yet, and I won't worry about this yet. I'm using a pencil. I'm going to zoom into my image a little bit better. There we go. Now you see, I see a lot of the pixels here because I'm zoomed right in. but I picked this brush here that was kind of weird, but I mean I can, you know, paint it like that, which is kind of bizarre. If I hold my control key, I can pick a different, when I'm hitting that control key while I have the, the paintbrush on, notice that, I'll just go get a different brush by the way, let's just go get this one over here. Notice that, and it's really huge, but let's make it smaller. Alright, that's a little bit better. What I can do is, originally I had that yellow, notice that it's kind of like pinkish color, but it's actually whatever it clicked on when I clicked on the car here, it looks like I have a little dropper tool. Let's say I wanted to get this gray. Notice over here that I have gray? Well now I'm going to be painting with that exact color that I clicked on. If I wanted that black color, it's not going to look quite black, but close enough. But I'm using very hard edges. They're not as uh, sort of smooth on the side like you saw earlier. And really that's how the um, that's how the pencil tool works. It's just a matter of messing around with it like this. You'll learn how to do a lot more with it later on, but I'm going to end the video. It's already long enough.